Hey, how you doing guys? I am so sorry I haven't put up a, a video recently for you, but we've been so busy working on this edition. We're running out of room. We, we've got a bunch of tanks still to go in. Here, turn around here. Walk up this way, guys. Look that way right there. We have that thousand gallon tank to put in. That came from SeaWorld. And then come around this way and point it there. We have this 2,000 gallon tank to go in. That also came from SeaWorld. And then we have this 450 right here. Uh, it's got to go in all before winter plus you guys remember that big 16 foot 2200 gallon tank We had to put it into the addition and build the walls around it So we've been busting our hump trying to get everything done. So I, I slacked off on the YouTube I'm very sorry about that, but I'll show you the progress we made on the addition come this way that big dog. All right this is where the fish room used to end. You can tell where the cement's two different colors. This is the addition here. We've got the electrical in, the drywall up, and then we've been working the last week on getting it uh, mudded and sanded, and that's the point we are right now. Come on in. This is our addition. Show them the walls. What a good job the guys did helping us with the muddy but we used uh, the green board drywall 5 8 thick uh, that's uh, three I think three and a half coats it's three full coats and then spot checking of muddy and then sanding in between you can see all the sanding marks here um, we've got all the electrical in we got to button this up but we're going to primer this first and paint it then we'll button up the electrical and get our final electrical and we should have an occupancy permit after that this is the 2200. Yeah, you guys see it peeping along in the video. It's sitting there. It's waiting. It's, it's dusty and dirty. <laughs> but look at this beast. 16 foot long, 6 foot wide, and 3 foot tall. It's, it goes up a couple more inches on the wood trim. And it also sticks down in more because they had sand in it to stuck up. So the tank's about here. We're thinking about cutting the top of this off and lowering this trim piece down. But... Uh, Right now we're we got to do some more sanding tonight, the final coat of sanding, and then we're going to go ahead and primer it tonight. We got people coming over tomorrow, and we're going to put three coats of uh, uh, semi-gloss white on here, same that we used in the other room. Then we can get our permit for occupancy, and then we can work on taking this wall out, making it one big room, and start putting the tanks in here. To put them tanks in here, I got all the tanks that are outside are four foot by four foot by eight foot long and the other one 16 foot long. To put them here, I'm gonna to have to have the tanks about this high so that there's room to get in, uh, almost eye level, and then that's gonna be like a foot, foot and a half stand we have to build, all against this whole wall. This tank here is going half in that room and half in this room, making an aisle down the center of this room, and the big tank's gonna be right there, you have to walk around. But, you know, we're trying to get this done by November 16th, and that's why I just haven't had time. I thought you are going to follow him. Yeah, Wet don't bucket. tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, big dog? So thank you for being patient. We will start posting more videos. And, uh, again, I'm sorry that we haven't. You know, we've just been busy. Take care.